İngiltere'nin Avrupa Birliği'nden ayrılmasının üzerinden tam 4 yıl geçti. Bugün hala Brexit'in İngiltere'ye ne getirdiği, ondan ne götürdüğü sorusunun cevabını hala kimse tam olarak veremiyor. Ancak yapılan araştırmalar ülke ekonomisinin gelişmekte olan ülkelere göre daha kötü bir performans sergilediğini gösteriyor. We've had two hits basically. One is less trade, and and one is lower investment. And I think it's hard to argue that the the impact of Brexit, given that, can have been anything other than negative. I'm actually an optimist about the the long term impact of Brexit, but even I recognise that the initial impact on the economy has been negative. Um, in two ways in particular. One is, of course, it's become harder to do trade with our biggest single trading partner, the, the rest of Europe. So. Our trade performance has been weaker than it would otherwise have been. Um, but on top of that, um, business investment has been lower than it would otherwise have been as well. And obviously, you know, businesses are concerned about the economic impact of, of, of Brexit, the uncertainty around the new trading arrangement. Um, but I'm still fairly optimistic about the future. I think for a start, there's plenty of room for debate about how big that negative has been. Um, I, I see lots of scary numbers about how the economy is you know, 5% smaller or, or, or 6% smaller than otherwise have been, which I, I don't think makes sense. But also I think a lot of those negatives will prove to be temporary, you know, as businesses adjust to the new trading arrangements, as, as the uncertainty clears, I would actually expect trade to recover and investment to recover as well. The arrangements were all done under incredible time pressure. So when you look at the withdrawal agreement and the trade and cooperation agreement that follows, all were conducted under quite significant time pressure. So therefore, quite a lot of problems were not resolved in these treaties. So in particular, the trade and cooperation agreement uh, only deals with trade in goods. It says something about trade in services and other things. Um, but not much. So trade in goods is the most basically important one. So obviously there are things that have not been discussed and need to be worked out. I would have thought again this is a trade-off. The closer you have the relationship with the EU, the less autonomy you have. Remember one of the um, big reasons why the UK wanted to leave to reassert autonomy over its own laws. But if you want to have smooth access, the EU will actually say, well, then you have to comply with our procedures and processes. So you will inevitably give up regulatory autonomy. So there is a balance to be struck between how much regulatory autonomy you want and need and how, how smooth the access is going to be. Mevcut iktidar bu boşanmanın gerekli olduğunu söylese de bugün İngiltere pandemi öncesine göre daha yoksul bir ülke ve Brexit'in bundaki payı hiç de az değil. Peki sıradan bir İngiliz seçmen için bugün Brexit ne anlam ifade ediyor? İşte bugün bu sorunun cevabını aramaya geldik. That's a little bit like saying um, walk without legs. Brexit has cut off our legs. Why not put them back again? rather than, uh, you know, um, try and walk without legs. It has become a very different country from what I fell in love with when I came here in 1970. Now, for the general population, we are poorer. Uh, the economy has gone down by 4% GDP. It cost, people estimate it costs about a thousand pounds per person per year. That's a lot of money. Um, our food has become much more expensive, our electricity of course has become more expensive and what people don't know for example is that our medicine has become more expensive so our health system is in a crisis. It's been terrible for this country, there is no positives whatsoever. Nobody can show us anything that has been improved by it, in fact it's getting worse Every year it's getting worse. I mean, from the end of January, we're going to start having these controls on the uh, on imports and exports even more than we've got now. One issue which has been improved by Brexit is what it's brought out is the worst in people. It's brought out the racists, it's brought out the ignorance, and it's brought out tribalism. I don't need to say any more. And the people who are responsible for it, they should not only be held to account, they should be in prison for lying.